Welcome to this tutorial of Suffolk County Community College Library's new and improved OneSearch Discovery Search Tool. This single feature now provides access to most books, full text articles, and other resources available to all libraries within the SUNY Library System, which gives you a greater selection of resources to choose from. Our OneSearch box can be found right in the center of the library's homepage. New limiters are provided here to help you choose between searching everything we own, just books and films, articles, textbooks and other course reserves, or the entire SUNY catalog. Typing your keyword or words into this box will bring back most of the items we own related to this search. While this can be helpful as far as amount of options presented, the inclusion of all SUNY results can be a bit daunting to those new to research. Let's play around with some of the ways we can limit your findings. The most effective way to limit results is by more focused keywords that capture your specific topic. Visit the tutorial guide on our homepage to learn more about narrowing a topic and choosing keywords. For me, I will narrow my original topic of plastic waste by considering an argument I'm interested in which is the way doing away with one-time used plastics can be one solution to this problem. You may need to play around with the words you use and consider synonyms. One example for this search is using single use instead of the hyphenated one-time use. Already I see a drastic reduction in results and they're more in line with my overall interest. To the right we see a number of other result filters that can be applied. If you only wish to view articles, you can choose articles. You can choose if you would like these articles to be academic, which is another way of saying scholarly or peer-reviewed. You may also limit the publication date to restrict the results to those that fall within a certain date range or those that are more current. Once I find a title of interest, I can view the description, click the database link for full text, and even share it by printing, emailing, or by copying the permalink for this page. I can also grab the quick citation button to copy the citation and paste it right into my works cited page. You may wish to play around with other limiters as well. I will change my search to include only books. When I do so, a new option to choose my desired campus will appear. While books from other campuses can be sent to you, some students prefer only viewing results they can access in their home library. The record indicates whether or not the book is available, or on the shelf, or unavailable, which means it's checked out. If a book is on loan, you may wish to make use of the browsing option. This allows you to see if another book on that topic might also be helpful to your research. You can also opt to request a book from another library. To do this, log into your account with your Suffolk credentials. You may need to perform your search again. When a book is checked out, a new option becomes available to you, which is placing a request. If the book is owned by another campus, use the request from a Suffolk County Community College library. If it is owned by another SUNY school, choose the SUNY option. If it is not available to you in any of these places, you will need to place an interlibrary loan request to have it sent in from an outside library system. Please note that you can also search to see if the book is available in your public library if you may need it that day. Once logged into your account, you may click on your name to view the status of your request and other important account information, such as your loans, which you may renew online, your fines, fees, and any blocks you might have. As always, librarians are here to help. As you go through the research process on our webpage, you may notice a prompt asking if you require assistance. Clicking on Chat Now allows you to connect with a librarian for real-time assistance, as long as the library is open. 